Cheers, dear. Cheers. It's fall, y'all. It's fall, y'all. I never say that. I <laughs> you really weird. don't. That's funny. You caught me off guard a little bit. <laughs> but um, that's, that's a thing. Yeah. So uh, it's today, fall. Happy fall. Today is the first official day of fall. It is. Which feels late to me. The twenty third. I, I always thought it was the twentieth or twenty first. Apparently, I don't know. It changes. Oh well, times are changing. Literally. Um, so anyway. <laughs> Like the, the leaves. Uh, what, what we what we decided to do for today with the change of seasons is to do a kind of a fall roundup. So you know, if you're an email subscriber, you would have gotten an email in your inbox by the time you're watching this with you our go. a link to our fall collection. Um, there's a shopping guide on our site. If you go to shopping guides, it's called Fall Into Autumn with mm -hmm. all of our fall inspired picks. So we're gonna go over a couple, and some of these yeah. are new products. Yeah, that some we of these are new. Yet. Some of these are new. Some of these are you may have forgotten. But either way, we kind of wanted to feature some of the things that we have kind of as. Uh, a fall special. So, um, start out with some of the ink because I want to. I wanted to swab them, show you what they look like wet. We talk about the pens. We'll come back and talk about the ink again when it's dry. So the you can see one. what it looks like. Um, so let's start out. I. The that's shimmer. of course the last one that I had. So I'm going to start out. Keep it a Robert Oster Cafe Crema. Mm -hmm. Now, truth be told, I generally don't use fall colored inks myself, so I don't have a lot of experience with um, some of these. Some of these I do. They're old standbys, but. Uh, Make sure we get that in the shot. So Cafe Crema. Now these are of course going to be very wet swabs. And I'm throwing them into a trash can. I'm not just tossing them on the floor just in <laughs> case you're curious. Do I need to get closer? Or are we yeah, good? we'll do that. Here cool. Go. This is a good shader. If you it like does appear that way. Browns. What so do we yeah, have next? it's like a nice sepia color. Mm -hmm. A little less yellow, a little more on the brown side. Yeah, you can see that shading is coming out as it dries a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, next I have Noodler's Nightshade, which is uh, kind of a sleeper. Mm -hmm. It's been a great color. We've had it, you know, ever since we started carrying Noodler's, so it's not new at all. Um, but it's uh, might be a new to you. Deep so it's purpley brownish. I, I really can't decide what color Nightshade actually sometimes is. Sometimes looks more purple. Is it brown? Is it purple? Brown. Is it you know burgundy? I don't know. It's kind of an interesting color. Um, either way, you just don't want to eat the plant, right? Isn't that the poisonous one? Well, nightshade is also like a classification of um, different vegetables and stuff too, like peppers and, you know, like nightshades. That's true. I think tomato is a nightshade, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. Ancient copper. This one is an old standby, so this one you'll start to see some interesting color pops come out as it dries. A little bit more of a red tone to it. Um, Pilot Urashizuku Momiji. It's, which... it's in between red and pink, and the name translates to autumn leaves, which is why we felt it fitting. But it's it's a pinky red. Mm hmm And it really rounds out the palette nicely. All right, here. I got this nice and shaken nice up and for you here. Shooked up because you do want to shake this, this one. This is a pearlescent. Okay. Color. Detrimentous amber yellow copper. A lot of names happening in this ink. <laughs> well, they have several different pearlescents. There's a copper collection, then there's also a silver and a gold, and so this is the copper variation. Ooh, that's like electric. There you go. Once it dries, you can see that, that shimmer on there. Yeah, and you can see even as these are starting to dry, which ones are going to be the heavy shaders and and whatnot. So we'll there you the, go. We'll set that aside. Just a little glance. Hold it, up. Hold it up. Yeah. There you go. It's so. still kind of wet. Yep, so we'll take a look at those again as we go along, but we thought, you know, and this isn't all the inks that we have, this is just a selection of I them. I actually but have an Autumn Leaves ink go. sample package set. So if you, or, or you no, go. it's just called Autumn, an Autumn ink sample pet, and also ink sample set, not a pet, also a Halloween What would an ink, ink sample, sample pet look like? <laughs> ink sample set. <laughs> Woo! Let me drink some more of this now. Uh. Um, I want to show, well, I should take a sip, but I, I, I'm also really excited about the new pens. Yes, yeah, so this was part of the prompting there for this video. There are several new things that we haven't showed yet. Yeah, so one of them is the new fall premiere. So this is our seasonal Edison premiere. Mm -hmm. Smoky Amber. Smoky Amber, yes. And they're all going to look different, you know, because the, the way the material is made, the different um, amounts of color and the mm -hmm. swirls, the way it all comes together. Yeah. We did choose to go with black trim, uh, black nib on this one. Um, Boom. Yeah, I think it looks nice. Yeah, so it's a premiere. If you're familiar with the premiere, you know exactly what this pen is because this is like the 23rd or something yes. that we've done. I this even is, lose count. This is a one and done limited run. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Uh, All right, once, Dr. Seuss. <laughs> and I can't follow it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we can have some fun. In with, the sun. In the sun. That's all we got. 
<laughs> um, we also <laughs> just got in on Friday the Pelican M205, and it's a five because it's silver trim. The hundreds are gold trim, mm -hmm. fives are silver. Star Ruby. Oh, yeah. Um, this is really interesting to me. I really like the way this pen looks. So it's a it's burgundy man. with a lot of glitter infused in it, but it looks nothing like the ink because the ink is a lot more pink. Yeah, right? So I don't. I, I love the pen. I love the ink. They're mm -hmm. just not a perfect match. In some years, they're a good match. Other years, they're just a little bit different. It's very much like a Merlot kind of color. Not really that, that shimmer. Not really that pink, but the shimmer in it is pretty rad. I can't really think of Pelican having done this specific. I'm not like a vintage Pelican expert, so they could have done something like this before, but I'm not aware of the, the glitter. And the glitter is like this really, really, their, really fine. This might be their first uh, first round of glitter. I don't know. Interesting. So if you're a Pelican aficionado, maybe you can side. educate us a little bit. But um, either way, uh, and, it's, and in the past, sometimes when they've done these Demonstrator M200 series, sometimes they've been really cloudy. Sometimes they've been really clear. Obviously, the, the sparkle in it obscures it a little bit. But um, it seems to be like the more clear end of the, the resin itself. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's very much a demonstrator. You can see your ink sloshing around. This is also relatively new. You showed this off before, but I've this is the Lamy <laughs> Lux Maroon. 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 You gotta roll, I just like to say it like that. that R. That's right. Um, it's a brown with uh, bronze accents. You get mm -hmm. the bronze on the, the cap and the clip. It's kind of like the All Star Coffee Reborn um, yeah, with similar. some enhanced trim. So I actually like the look of it better than the coffee. This has been quite popular. It's very fall. It's very fall. And very classy. All right, we got. Let's see, we already talked Some other about things. this. Talk about the premiere. So we have the um, Conklin Empire. Mm -hmm. um, this is amber. The amber one, which uh, the, the flecked material on here, very much like a vintage kind of celluloid look to it. Is this the one that they used um, like corn in it to make the resin? I think you're right. I yeah, remember that. Yeah, they had to yeah. get it from like a specific field, like a specific crop to make sure it was consistent yeah. when they made the whole batch. But like so these little like, flecks in it's here. It's like corn bits and then when they heat it to injection mold it actually darkens and turns black. So there you go. If you like corn, you can have a <laughs> corn infused I'm pen. I'm pretty sure this is, if, if we're completely I'm wrong. I'm 95% <laughs> sure that that's correct. I think we're just, people are like, what are you talking about corn? All right, next one. This, this we've had for a while. This is a very underrated, uh, very a sleeper of a pen. So this is the Platinum Kanazawa Leaf Makie pen. It's got a gold nib. It's sub $200. 18 karat gold nib. And it's Makie. Now, granted, these leaves aren't like hand painted Machie, that's when you're going to pay 700 to a thousand dollars like with a screen Mimiki. printing and but a, honestly but the it gold looks leaf really the, there is gold leaf finish work so essentially stuff. there's there's this gold leaf it's applied kind of as a whole leaf but really it's kind of like it's like an intro level Machie. so that the process is similar um, just not as much hand detail which is why it's a little bit less expensive it's a very light pen mm -hmm. so if you like a really solid writer and you love the design of it the leaves just to me it's one of the most Beautiful Machia pens you can get, especially in the sub one thousand dollar price range. It's great for for my hand size for sure. Yeah, the nib's got a little bit of bounce to it. Very solid pen. The pen has, I think, gone under the radar for the last probably six or seven years since it came out. Oh, um, it does. It's I, not think right the, now. I think our product description says firm. That is not firm. That's got, that's not got firm. a little bit of bounce. It's got a little bounce, right? I'm gonna update that. So normally platinum's nibs are pretty stiff, but this one is uh, got a little bounce. So we chose this one, the changing autumn leaves, because you know. I think it's the most beautiful of the. Goldfish is pretty too. The platinum Machia is there. This um, we came out with earlier this year. This is a huge pen. The Stipula <laughs> Ituria Ebonite. Um, and this is the yellow. So. Yeah, this pen came out when there was a lot of other stuff going on. So it may have just gotten off your radar. But It's if you limited like, out of 88. If you like colored ebonites, um, not a lot of ebonite demonstrator combos out there. It's a piston filler, mm -hmm. uh, titanium nib. So it's worth a look if that's your thing. On sale. Yep. Um, this is a relatively Another large pen. pen. Is this the oversized version? This is the oversized. So this is the Esterbrook SD in the honeycomb material. Which is a special edition. Mm -hmm. So this one I actually took for my personal collection. This one um, you can get in gold or chrome trim mm -hmm. and then in the regular or the oversized versions. This is and the oversized. It's got the cushion cap closure. Yeah. So, so it's got a little bit of, uh, you push it in a little bit and it, you can feel a little resistance as you turn it so that helps to seal the cap. Mm -hmm. Very popular pen, a lot of people have been happy with the Esterbrook Reborn here. Kind of in the similar vein, this is um, an exclusive that we have that we did with Stipula. So this is the Etruria Alter Ego. In this celluloid. Is, this is the Alter Ego celluloid. So they've done this pen material in the past 
we went there, they literally have like a small stockpile of it that they can't make this material anymore. This is the last So this is it. it. So we have some of these pens left. We will not be able to get more. So especially if you're in love with this material, that's the only, basically the only way you can get it, unless you get a vintage pen now. Yep. Um, piston filler, gold nib, 18 karat, solid writer. Um, I like that size of pen. For me personally, to have a large pen like that, that's not too, too heavy, like anything kind of in this range, the collier, all that. Um, yeah, we have a lot of these orange pens that are similarly sized. I don't know what it is, just something about. It just happened. Yeah, that color just tends to be popular in these pens, I guess. So this is the Edison Collier in antique marble. There's also a persimmon swirl mm -hmm. that is orange as well, and both are very popular. Absolutely. The Collier after the Premier is one of our more popular models. It does yeah. not post. No. It's a huge pen. You probably really don't need it to post anyway. Most people don't post it anyways. Well, they can't, but most people don't feel the desire to post a pen this size. Handmade anyway. in Ohio. That's right. Then um, we have a roller ball. There's also a fountain pen version of this. There is, yeah. This is the Retro 51 Lincoln. Mm -hmm. um, so it's copper, like a penny Lincoln. Yeah, it's Get like it? an antique. Hey, uh, that's clever. That's how they came up with the name. Oh, I know. I wasn't just making it up. No, I know. Like that, that's yeah, the thing. Literally. So, um, so roller ball, twist roller ball, <laughs> or a fountain pen. There you go. Then we have the very popular Pilot Custom 823 in amber, also available Classic. in smoke. Classic. Um, both both colors have been like neck and neck in popularity. The smoke has been a little more popular than the amber recently. No, it's been really close. Has it been back and forth? Yeah. Well, there you go. Either way, great writing pen. It's got a demonstrator look, so you can see that ink sloshing around. It's got the vacuum filler. So this is Pilot's vacuum filler pen. Yeah, great pen. Then we have the Conklin Duragraph in amber. Again, a lot of, lot of orangey materials Very going popular. on here. They're all different materials. These two might be similar. They're similar, but... I don't know if it's exactly the same. This one seems a little more translucent, but I either don't way. Know. Either way. So it kind be, of... It could be turned to different thicknesses. So if a lot of these other pens are kind of too rich for your blood, this is more of kind of like... $52. The more affordable side range of that. It's oh. the same, similar material. Not This is celluloid. The other two are... They are um, resin. Acryl yeah, acrylic resin. Then this is um, the All Lamy All Star Bronze, the special edition for the mm -hmm. year, yep. which we've talked about Fits quite a bit. Fits in with the color scheme. That came out earlier this year in the spring, but now it's more fitting for fall. As well as the Lamy Studio Terracotta. Mm -hmm. um, and this was, and we just came out with new studios. Um, yes. This is a, the, yes. the past special edition, so stock is Tech probably not gonna last forever it's on not this. It's not gonna be so long, so yeah, maybe move on that one first. If, you're, if you've are if you got a bunch of Lamy special editions on your list, this is the one we wanted yeah, to run out Yeah, the bronze sooner. and the, um, you know, the ones from earlier this year, they're, they're they're not gonna be around for too much longer. Yeah. Finally, on the budget end, we have the Jinhao 51A. It's like the one budget pen we have. Sorry, just kind of worked is it, out that is way. Is it a screw or? It's a pull. It's a pull, okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I unscrewed a little bit. The Jinhao 51A. Um, so it's got the same nib, if you're familiar with the Shark Pen. Uh, same nib as what's on the Shark Pen, that kind of hooded, extra fine nib. It's actually a very solid, very reliable writer. I keep one inked up on my desk. That's why we picked it up. Yeah, I mean, for me, I keep something like Noodler's Black inked up in it if I need to write uh, you know, on an envelope on the outside or if I need to just fill out something on black on really crappy paper. Great pen for that. Looks a little classier, maybe a little different feel than a shark pen. Yeah. If that doesn't meet your needs, it's got a clip, so a little bit, little bit pricier than a shark pen, but you're looking like 15 bucks. It's we have not a huge investment. <laughs> Sorry. We have a few more inks. Also, we got also, no, I'm just kidding. And pens just to in our shopping guide that we didn't cover today. Just want to give a quick shout out to also the Field Notes Summer. Yes, I know there's summer, but, but it's kind of fitting for fall. It too. is kind of fitting for fall. The yeah. um, National Park. So these are three different versions here, but. Um, felt very fall like. And then Absolutely. finally, we got, we got several other notebook things on there, but you can check them out. Circling back on the ink, we got that nice shimmer popping up now on that yeah, um, detriment. Definitely seen. So, obviously, the heavy shaders, you're looking like ancient copper. Um, and the cafe crema is Yeah, and then of course, the one with the shimmer is going to be uh, a little pop in there. So, you know, Momiji, a little less so. Nightshade is very, very dark, very saturated color. It's pretty. Yeah, but this one might be a good, like, kind of work safe ink. If you yeah. maybe don't want to fill out your budget request form with something like this, you know, Nightshade might be a little more in the vein of what you can what you can get away with in your office. Absolutely. So, there you go. Nice little fall roundup. There's other things that we didn't mention that we have. So check out the fall roundup, the uh, fall into Shopping. Fall, fall into fall. autumn, uh -huh. right? Yeah. <laughs> So clever. Yeah. Um, check out that on our website. You can see these products as well. Go as get your others. pumpkin spice coffees and donuts and all the pumpkin everything. Yep, that's right. Because it's that time of year. Dye mine pumpkin's another great ink too. I know, and monoberry pumpkin cake. 
Yes. There should be pumpkin pie, but it's fine. Hey, whatever. It's Cake fine. is better anyway, so you know. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is a debate. There's another video. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we have a video about cake versus pie. Go yeah, check it do. out. We do. Yes, indeed. Anyway, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Sign up for our email newsletter because we do do roundups like this every so often that maybe we don't feature in a video, but you can get cool ideas for fun seasonal things. Thanks there so much go. for watching and right, right on. on.